the back top to the throne, yeah, to be as the father. You, you're missing the point here. I'm talking about worship, not about the place heaven. Yeah. I'm talking about worship. When you direct... Yeah, your... so you worship God, yeah, through Jesus. No, no, but that, that's not what Jesus told you. Jesus told you to worship only the Father. Yeah, because Jesus is uh, uh, one with uh, the Father. He's not. He's one with the Holy Ghost, he's one with the Son, and he's okay. one with the Father. Who died on the cross? Jesus. Oh, well, if they're one, why did they not all die? Well, listen, God, yeah? Yeah? Created life and death. Yes, exactly. Yeah, so God, yeah, can work outside the bounds of life and death. Can God die, though? If he created death, and if he created life... Can, is God Almighty? Yeah, of course he is. So he can do anything? How is death being almighty? Is the other way around. Well, if it, that shows weakness. Well, that well, shows weakness. Well, almighty, yeah? Yeah. Means that he can do anything. Can he be Satan? <laughs> Oh my gosh. Uh, he won't be Satan. Satan is an angel. But you said anything. Satan is a creation. Of course. Jesus is a creation as well. Yeah, but it's outside of his nature. Outside his nature? But you said he could do anything. It's outside God's yeah, nature to good. die. Yeah, but he's good. No, no, it's outside God God's... God is good. So yeah. he's not going to choose to do evil. I'm not, good. I'm not saying God is not good. I'm saying it's outside his nature to die. <laughs> uh, I could use the same argument against you. But he's still alive though. You, better get your cross. you see, you, you're, you're always moving the goalpost. Earlier you said that it is Jesus who died on the cross. Yeah, so he paid punishment for you. No, but the thing is, if God doesn't die, is God going to punish him? You, you keep moving the goalposts. Let's stick to one topic. Stick to one topic. Does God die? Let's stick with that, and then you can move on. Listen, bro. Do you yeah uh, have the authority yeah over life and death? No, I don't. So how can I yeah also tell you about life and death? if God is the one that only knows about life and death. I didn't ask you about life and death. I asked you if God can die. Listen bro, God, yeah, Jesus Christ, yeah, died and came back again. Can he die though? Bro, Jesus is God and he died and okay. he came back again. I'll tell you what, the Bible says God is immortal. Yeah, Jesus I, is immortal, yes. Do you know what immortal means? Uh, he, he, he's, he can't kill him. Exactly. Exactly. So who killed him? Uh, he was crucified under people that rejected him. So people killed him? Yeah. But you said you can't kill him? No, you can't. Does he not understand English, Bro, this guy? don't you understand that he resurrected? He walked out of the grave. Okay, hear me out. If someone is immortal, does resurrection apply to them? Uh, because he never dies in the first place. So neither death nor resurrection applies to God. But you see, for your God, both of them applied. Death and resurrection, which only points to one thing, that he is not immortal. Jesus says, I am the resurrection so and I, the life. See what I mean? He changed the goalpost he again. He that believeth in me, yeah, yeah, even though he shall die, he shall live. But God is immortal. Do you not understand? Exactly. You define immortal as someone who doesn't die. Well, God is love, right? And God says there's again, no greater the love yeah, to, than to lay your life down for your friends. Okay, since we have already established that Jesus is not immortal, it already disqualified him as God because the Bible in fact... He's immortal, bro. How can you say, yeah, that he doesn't have... Uh, uh, the rights of being a, a, a human man like me and you. No, I'm saying immortal means someone who doesn't die. The fact well, that Jesus died disqualifies him as God. Listen, so Jesus, yeah, was born from a virgin, right? So he does not descend, yeah, from Adam and Eve. Adam was having no mo mother or father. He's even better than Jesus. No, because Jesus at least Jesus created, had a mother. Jesus created Adam and Eve. Jesus did not create Adam and Jesus, Eve. Jesus, yeah, came in, yeah, yeah. to uh, uh, life, yeah, not from the genealogy that we have. I'll tell you what. If Jesus could, sorry, if God could create Adam without a mother and father, why could He not create Jesus without a mother or father? Why did He need a mother? Jesus has no beginning and no end, so He doesn't need a father because He is the Father. Where does it say? Jesus has no beginning or end. Uh, in the book of Revelation, it says, I'm the Alpha and the Omega, the okay. first and the last, right. the beginning and the end. Okay, in that case, you should also worship Melchizedek because he says he has no beginning of days, no end of time. Well, Melchizedek's a man. No, but, Jesus but man. According, Jesus to your, God, according to your definition, someone who doesn't Jesus, have... Jesus yeah, is the Messiah, yeah? You keep changing the goalposts every the time Messiah, you get stuck. <laughs> you see, you went from Alpha and Omega, and then when I put in Melchizedek, you change it to Messiah. I don't every time you get stuck, he changes the topic. This is called changing no, the goalposts when you're stuck. Jesus, huh? Look, once you are realized that God doesn't die, let alone by his own creation, then you'll know that Jesus is not God. Because the Father never dies. Do you agree? Uh, do you believe you're going to be resurrected? Yeah. Yeah, so uh, do you have any evidence of someone that got resurrected? I don't need evidence. You don't need any evidence? No, I don't. So how can you prove to me yeah, that your day of resurrection is true? But you believe in day of resurrection. I believe in so why should we? I've got proof of it. So why should, we, why should we dispute something we both agree on? Let's, 
let's talk about something we disagree upon that God is not mortal well I disagree yeah and I believe that Jesus Christ is immortal okay so he didn't die on the cross then you have no salvation because without Jesus dying it's, it's not they about, cannot be saved God says the life is in the blood isn't it and it's the fact that whose blood uh, uh, we will have blood in our body to find does God have blood yeah, yeah, he does. Whose blood? Jesus. He shed it for you, bro. Like that holy blood, yeah, was shed for you. Okay, who died on the cross? Man or God? God. Can God die? Bro, he resurrected, bro. Yeah, but God doesn't need to resurrect because he's immortal. Bro, he's the resurrection. You're going in circles now. You're chasing your tail. You see, this is the problem with Christians because bro. they cannot get over the contradictions. Did, did Muhammad Once, resurrect? In one, see, in one breath, he's saying God doesn't die. Next breath, he's saying he resurrected. Who needs to resurrect? Only those who die, they need to resurrect. But my God proved to me, yeah? That he's a uh, weakling, that how? he died by his own creation, <laughs> that he needed food, that he needed sleep, that what? he needed to be born from a woman. You, All these points to the fact. Yeah? yeah, but Al Masih doesn't need to be worshipped. He's the Messiah, yeah? Messiah doesn't, it's not what, to be worshipped. Why does he have a different title than a, different, than a prophet? A Messiah, by the way, do you know Jesus is not the only Messiah in the Bible? Listen, Jesus is the king you, of kings. Wait, wait, see, you switch the goalpost again. Why do you keep doing this? Every time you get caught, every time you the get Messiah cornered, you the change. Photo. Okay, do you know Cyrus is called the Messiah in so the Bible? The, uh, Jesus Cyrus. Jew, yeah? Cyrus, who is not even a Jew. He's, Jesus, called, Jesus a he's, he's called a Messiah. Why is he called a Messiah? Jesus was a Jew, yeah? Answer the question. Why is Cyrus called the Messiah in your Bible? Uh, listen, I'm talking you about don't why have an answer. Jesus, yeah? A Jew. Why is Jesus a Jew? By why the way. Do you know what Jew means? It means by race. It doesn't necessarily mean by, by faith. Jew means Bani, Bani, you the Quran, Bani Israel. God, right? You believe in God. The Jewish God, Yahweh. Jehovah. Jewish God, that's your God, not so my God. Not, not your God is a Jew and you're a Christian. I, I, How come? <laughs> Allah says that... Uh, Manu, why are you a Christian when your God is a Jew? Yeah? Allah revealed the Torah and the Zobo and the Injil. Yeah? I want to know, why are you a Christian when your God is a Jew? Because well, you claim Jesus your God is to be the king Jew. Of the Jews. Yeah. yeah, so why are you a Christian so you when your God is a Jew? You believe in the Jewish prophet? Do you believe? Yeah, I believe in Bani, I, sorry, Bani Israel. Bani Israel means those who are the children of Jacob, they are called Bani Israel. You and if you Elijah, yeah? Yeah. Yeah, was he a prophet? Yeah, they are prophets from yeah. the Bani Israel. We what, have, no, what, what we have the, no issues with that. What does the name Elijah mean? Why, does it, uh, why is that important? Because it's a Hebrew word. What does it mean? It means Yahweh is my God. Okay, does Jesus have a God? Uh, Jesus mm -hmm. is God. Did he have a God? So all of the Jewish prophets, yeah, they followed Jesus. No, no. Did Jesus have a God? Jesus is God. Did he have a God? He, he is God. Okay. Shall I show you from your Bible that he had a God? Listen, he Are says you going that. to reject the words of Jesus now? It's in John 20, verse number 17. Jesus says, I go to my father and your father, my God. And your God. Yeah, I know and that your God. Job. Okay. So when Jesus says my God, whom is he referring to? Well, he's... He's here on earth, yeah, telling you, yeah, uh, I'm going to my God and your God. Who yeah? is his God? That's the question. Who he's is his God? There, yeah? Who is Jesus? If you know God? Jesus, yeah, then you'll know, yeah, that where he's gone, yeah, yeah. that's where our God is. Exactly. Exactly. So, so Jesus has is, a God. Where our God is, yeah, he's God. So Jesus has a God, do you agree? Jesus is God, yeah. No, do, does he have a God? Well, he is God. You see, you keep evading he the says, question. I go, yeah, to where my God is, yeah. Oh, so now we finally see it's my God. But where did that means go? Jesus where, is the God. Where did you go? Where did you Look. Go? Does God have a God? Think about it. Listen, Jesus here yeah, is the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. <laughs> no, God. no, Jesus he is not the no Father. And he has no Jesus end. is not the Father. His word, yeah, as it, the Kalimatullah. This guy is not a Christian. The Kalimatullah, yeah, yeah, the Word of God and the Spirit of God, yeah, which is infathomable. You know why? You know why you change the topic again? Because you realize Jesus. that Jesus is not the Father. Jesus, Jesus has a God. The, Messiah. the Father doesn't have he a God, but king. Jesus has a God. He's eternal. Can God have a God? Uh, Jesus is the beginning and the end. So he is, so is Melchizedek. So, so before him, so yeah, is Melchizedek. There is no God he has no beginning of days, no end of time. There is no God. But why are you evading the question? Does Jesus have a God? Listen, bro. He says there are no gods beside me. Where does he say that? In the book of Isaiah. Besides whom? Uh, him. Who is? No. Yeah, in, the, Yahweh, in the Old Testament, you had Jesus. Yeah, bro. Show me the word Jesus in the Old Testament. I challenge you. Remember, he said in the Old Testament, we have the word Jesus. No, not because this word, is not, not, not word Jesus yeah. If you cross reference the verse yeah. No no why why are you cross referencing? Because you because know, it's yeah? not there. So you have to cross reference with what? Yeah, it speaks to you yeah through words yeah and mm. through scriptures right. So when you spend you know time to understand the, the amount of God the amount of God. contradiction that you have actually spewed right now 
takes you take takes you outside wisdom, even the fold of Christianity because no no true Christian would ever say Jesus is the father like the way you did you lied against Jesus yeah, he's my father bro. who is your father Jesus Jesus is your father yeah. so who is Jesus's father but well, he's the father bro. no no who is Jesus's father he is the father. when Jesus says I go to my father what so who is he referring to earth, yeah, see he won't answer example, that question yeah? because he knows he's wrong now nah, he lives so, a perfect life, but the yeah? thing is he's so Check arrogant that he wouldn't admit it oh, he said uh, Jesus is his father. Jesus himself, said, Jesus, is holy. Jesus himself says, Jesus himself says, I go holy. to my father yeah. and your father. That means the believers had a father and Jesus had a father. Guess who that was? That was God Almighty. It was and it is meant to be like a metaphoric term, not literal. No, Jesus and Jesus then in the same statement says, I go to my God and your God. Who is Jesus' God? He won't answer that. Watch. But well, Jesus doesn't have a God, does not it? See what I mean? He rejects even the words of Jesus when Jesus himself says, I go to my God. This guy says Jesus doesn't have a God. No, listen. Whom should I believe? Jesus or this liar here? Jesus, yeah. You lied against created. Jesus. So Jesus is the God of gods, right? Yeah. God of God. Yeah, but he, there's, the, there's no other God though. You know, besides brother, him. brother, I actually feel sorry for you because, no you, because you're embarrassing him. yourself now. You're, you're actually blaspheming against but God. You're, you're rejecting Jesus, bro. So how am I blaspheming? No, no. Jesus? As a Muslim, I cannot reject Jesus. You reject the resurrection. So you ain't got no resurrection. I reject the crucifixion you know, and the resurrection exactly. of Jesus. Exactly. So you, you, now, you think because one day he'll be resurrected, but not... not uh, so you think Jesus is alive? No, you're the liar. No, who lied about Jesus? It's in the Bible, bro. Why Christ. should I believe the Bible? The, the Bible is full of lies. It's in the Injil, bro. Okay, I'll tell you what. Do you who's believe? Who's liar? Who's liar? Hold on. I'll tell you why the Bible is a lie. Did Allah Shall I show you? With the word, yeah? Shall I show you why the Bible is a lie? But what? Oh, so, so the Torah and the Zabur and the Injil are a lie? No, I said the Bible. Are you that, listening or not? The Torah and the Zabur. No, who said that? Who said? That's the Old Testament. No, Testament, no, 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 no. The Muslims don't have the word Bible in the Quran. The Torah and the Injil are not the Bible. So get that right, There's please. No Once again, shall I tell you why the, the shall I tell you why the Bible is false? Uh, are, you, are you are you are you willing to listen? But I know why the Quran is false as well. You see, he doesn't want to listen. I'll give you a, an example from the Bible, which will prove to you beyond a doubt that it's actually not from God Almighty. Do you believe your God can be cursed? So you, yeah. Are, are you going to answer any question not or not? Trusting in God, are you? No, I don't trust the Bible. You trust in Muhammad. Hear, hear me out. I don't trust the Bible. Okay. So Once God. again. If, have you read the Bible, by the way? Yeah, I've read the Bible. What does uh, uh, Galatians 3.13 say? Uh, I can't remember the scripture. Bring, bring it up, bring it up. Galatians 3.13, it actually condemns Jesus as a curse. It calls him a curse, yeah? Yes. Yeah, because he was cursed for you. Can your God be cursed? Yeah, because you cursed. Are you cursed? Yeah. I'm under okay, the speak curse. Speak for yourself. God, bro. Speak for yourself because I'm not cursed. Bro, you're under the wrath. <laughs> I am blessed, bro. alhamdulillah, you know. Hold on, hold on. Bro, but he's God saying he's saying you? he's cursed. Wait a minute. I, I can I can actually buy that. But why is your God cursed? Bro, because you, yeah. Who cursed him? Cursed, fam. So he was cursed for you. No, no. Like I said, speak for yourself. You're the one cursed. So tell me, you can be cursed as a human being. Okay, so but why is your God cursed? Because you, yeah. So who cursed, cursed? Who cursed him? Listen, you who cursed, cursed your yeah? who cursed By Satan? You've been wait, wait. Shaitan, who yeah? cursed your God? So God who is cursed at war with the devil? No, right? no. Who cursed your God? That's the question. You believe in Satan? Yeah. Who cursed your God? That's the question. Can you answer any I'll question? Answer it, yeah, but you need to tell me. Yeah, do you believe in Satan? I believe Satan exists. Right. So when Adam and Eve yeah, was deceived by Satan.